Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on relative frequency. Uh, so in this video, it's the second video on this topic, we'll just be looking at example questions. Uh, so the first one then, Prim asks some people in her town about their dietary habits and records the results in the table below. Uh, so for part A, we have to work out the relative frequency of someone in Prim's town being vegetarian. Uh, so uh, we need to first of all work out the total number of people that she's asked. So we've got to add the frequency column together. Uh, so that is 44 plus 23 plus 43 and if you do that calculation uh, that's 110 uh, so then next we want to work out the relative frequency in other words the probability that someone's vegetarian so out of the total there are 44 that are vegetarian uh, so therefore the probability is 44 out of 110 and now we can cancel that down and if you cancel it down to the most simple form it becomes two fifths and then part b says there are 20,000 people in Primstown. Using your answer to part A, find an estimate for the number of people in this town who are vegetarian. Uh, well, if there's 20,000 people in the town and the probability that someone is vegetarian is two fifths, then all we do is times 20,000 by two fifths, and that gives us 8,000. Uh, so there are approximately 8,000 people in the town that are vegetarian. So moving on to the second example then, Amber has a spinner with the numbers one, two, three, and four on it. She is told that the spinner is fair, but she claims it is biased. Uh, so if the spinner is fair, then there's an equal probability of landing on a one, two, three, or four. So Amber spins the spinner 150 times and it lands on the number one 54 times. Comment on the validity of Amber's claim. Okay, uh, well, if she's uh, spun the spinner 150 times and it lands on one 54 times, then the relative frequency of landing on a one uh, is 54 divided by 150. Uh, so if you convert that to a decimal, that's 0 0.36. Uh, now, uh, there's four numbers, uh, so you'd expect the probability, so the theoretical probability, we'll call it theoretical prob for short, you'd expect the probability to be a quarter or 0 0.25. Uh, but her relative frequency uh, the probability that she's determined from the experiment is much higher than the theoretical probability. Uh, so we can say that she's probably right. Uh, so her claim is valid. Now, of course, it could be just a coincidence um, that it's landed on the 154 times out of 150. Um, but it's unlikely. Uh, the best way to test this would just be to do more trials. So if she did about another 150 and she got another 54 ones, then she's definitely right. If you want to get some practice with relative frequency questions, then why not have a go with our online exam? It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of it. Uh, so if you want to keep track of your progress and find out where you need to improve, this is a really good way of doing so. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the exam, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.